Hello, audience. What are you doing at Castle Park and Sherman Oaks, audience? Hello, intro of headness to whiteness to sharpness. Fuck. Oh, no. Fuck you, audience. <laughs> Desire, yes, I know. It's too late, cause I want it that way. Uh. Am I? You're fire. No, no. Okay. You want? Okay, well. Desire. It's, I don't know the rest of the songs. It's special. Today's a special day. We're celebrating one million subscribers. That's amazing, actually. On that rose. Welcome to the wild. You should just do it. We get million subscribers. <laughs> Is am I a retard or am I a deaf person? You can't tell. It's the same voice. We were arguing about this earlier. I don't know about arguing. Conversing. Well, you said that deaf people talk yeah. one way and retarded people talk another way. No, and I, I said, said that deaf people aren't retarded. Oh no no no! I don't think they're retarded. I just think they talk try, like retarded. Try and catch me. <laughs> yep. So we came to the park for applesauce. Am I deaf or am I retarded? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, even uh, with my supreme acting abilities. Anyway, we're just chatting. We're here in the park uh, for a couple reasons. We just wanted to, uh, you know, tell you guys that we, uh, and this is, this sounds so fucking sarcastic, on the heels of my April Fool's antics but uh we do uh we do uh, appreciate you guys you guys are fucking epic you rock three thumbs up three thumbs up three thumbs up for you guys it's like et but gay uh next time we should start this thing off with caswell mm -hmm. right yeah a little ice cream ice cream truck at the ice cream truck i'll buy you an ice cream we should do, we should do a video with him have him uh like lather scene enters up in baby oil and then yeah. te teach him how to swing his hips. Let's get Caswell on the show. Let's Somebody, do it. Somebody, uh, Shore's gotta have his number. He's got everybody's number. Uh, so it's been a rad year and a half. Um, I've got my favorite moments on Respawn. Do you guys have? Yep. Yeah, what, lay, lay it on us. I say E3. That was like the first time. When you first like wrote yeah. like, like regulators mount up. Mount up. <laughs> well, you had just got the job yeah. at that point. That was, that was a big transition. I moved from San Diego. I was like running around, there was games everywhere. I was like, what is this magical place? Um, Out of the frying pan into the fire. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. That was, that's probably by far the thing I remember the most. Yeah. What about you, Hutch? Hey! Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fan service in the park. Nanus, you're getting buttered up. Thoughts? That's a bad idea. I'm gonna go ahead and veto this idea. I respect your opinions, well, your I'll thoughts. Tell you, I'll tell you what, we can but... leave it up to the comments. If you guys wanna see See Nanners get lathered up in baby oil by Caswell. Very talented and popular and upcoming hip hop artist in Detroit. <laughs> uh, leave a comment below and let us know why. What about that you? Could have been more perfect right there. Uh, that guy was like, See Nanners! No, actually, he went, See Nanners! He might have been, <laughs> been deaf. I don't know. I couldn't tell if he was deaf or retarded. Or retarded, I don't know. Yeah. I'm leaning towards retarded because he didn't shout out Sark. I'm leaning towards a retard. <laughs> I'm gonna answer your question with a question. Uh -huh. Hutch, does gay sex make you gay? No. Why not? Being gay means you want to have sex with men. Being gay does not mean you have sex with men. That makes sense? <laughs> so, let me think about, think about it this way, okay? So, <laughs> think, about, think about it this way. Okay. My favorite response moment, I think, uh, I thought it was when we shot in Dallas and you were frolicking around with the stone children, but the more I think about it, the more I have to say, Wood slapping the shit out of Ian. Hey, what if we hit it? We hit it! High five! Oh man. It was yes. like the, one of the hardest. <laughs> one of the hardest I've ever laughed in my life, period. Not just on this job. Yeah. 
little behind the scenes on that. We told Wood, because he was like, kind of like, how hard do you want me to tag? He, said he wasn't hand face. He wasn't hand face yet. We and said we, one out of five. Yeah, we told him on a scale of one to five, give him a one. <laughs> like, this is just for, this is just for the camera. And fucking Wood knocked, <laughs> knocked, <laughs> knocked like canaries out of his head. They, <laughs> Tweety bro. Oh, fuck. If you look at everybody in the room, for a split second, all of us were in shock. All yeah, we were all like, because <laughs> we weren't sure if Ian, we weren't sure what Ian was going to do. It turns yeah. out Ian's like the, the fucking machine though. He popped up and was like, is yeah, that man. good? Yeah. I don't want to do it again, but I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it if you have to. That was a one though. That's a one from Hollywood. You want to see a five? It's something like shit out of the Matrix. Like fucking punching concrete Ooh. beams. Yeah. Sark comes at me with a butcher's knife and I shoot him with a gun and I kill him. Does that make me a murderer? Yes. Does that make me a serial killer? Um, Actually, first of all, it does make you a murderer because murder is premeditated. Does it make me a serial killer? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Boom! Drop some knowledge on you. You didn't even see that metaphor coming, and it was fucking brilliant. <laughs> You're welcome. I think my favorite, uh, my favorite's been the uh, Gamescom, I'm running around Germany. I got nothing but good memories. German ladies. So hot. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. You know what's funny is that the guys in Germany insist up and down. Oh, our women are ugly. You gotta, yeah. you gotta go to like Sweden or Switzerland. But also, I mean, I gotta be honest. The guys in Germany, yeah, they weren't giving they weren't giving my gay dick a boner. <laughs> the the it's like your secondary, right? Do you ever you don't think of it like that? Okay, wait, explain. I that. hadn't thought okay. about that. Okay. Ooh, gay dick. Yeah. Say you have an imaginary dick, or maybe like uh, yeah. It's like a spirit dick that lives within your real dick, and it's like it's, a commie, you know. Yeah, it's like a commie. And if you're, uh, if you were gay, <laughs> that's that. It responds as it's. All right. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Ghost. Well, no, I got you. Either way, yeah, yeah, yeah. My ghost dick was not getting, uh, not getting aroused at all by the German guys. Yeah. But the ladies, they were getting my fleshy, real dick, all kinds of fucking happy. Yeah. God, that's disgusting. There's kids here too. Why is everywhere we go there's kids in like, like nearby? Well, you're screaming listening. fleshy dick off the top of your lungs. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna hear you. I'm just not okay with the fact that Hutch wants something in my ass, and he's not okay with the I fact that I'm not okay with that. I don't want anything in your ass, I just yes. want Caswell lathering you up in baby oil. Because I think it would be hilarious. And I'm pretty sure Sark is on, is on Team Hutch. I want on Caswell. This. All over you, Nanners! <laughs> All over you! 100%. Nanners, I am right. extremely specific. I feel extremely. like you, you, you're like, scolding Take your hand, me. go higher, go at this pace, take your other hand, do this. Don't you want do to at least like, explore, bit. be creative? Like, do no, something? because I know what I like. Like so. a slave master. We made it back. Good job, guys. Nice. Good job. Right. Good job. No. Put it up, homophobe. No. Yeah. I'm down with Hutch. Communication is great. Mm -hmm. It's just sometimes you yeah. like I like to give them their the I like to let them run like fucking uh, creative, wild man. horses. Where's the there's, nothing, there's nothing I haven't seen. There's nothing I haven't seen. Lord knows or that. experienced <laughs> besides scat. Besides hey, full on. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah no, no, that's true. That's chest. true. But person X. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to say girl because I don't want to just shoehorn you into. Uh, you know, heterosexuality. I appreciate that. <laughs> Vonda took away all my guns. Because I, I crapped on the infield. So now you're... So now I'm in... I, I can only use the infield. Girl X... <laughs> girl X licking your nutsack. It's different than girl Y licking yeah. your nutsack. Person X, I mean, is It's different. really not, no. I mean, it's like, what, what, a, it's a whole what could adventure. girl X do differently with her tongue that girl Y can't It's not that she's licking you different. Or it's not like that he or she is licking you differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he or she. <laughs> I suck your dick for FAMAS. What's the closest? Have you ever been in a situation? I'm curious, because you, you always talk about... Like dudes and not being gay. What's the closest? Have you ever been in like an awkward situation where you thought to yourself for a moment, I should indulge this? No. I got beads of sweat dripping down my back right now. We That's belong disgusting. in a colder environment. I feel disgusting right now. It's dripping down my inner thighs. Ooh, I can feel my back. Like butt butter. 
right down my legs. How do you feel? Butt butter. You feel good? I've learned a lot of new words this week. Uh, butt butter. Oh, what was the one the, of the, the, the jerk? What's the jerk, jerk trap. The jerk, jerk trap. trap. Yeah. This is a Hutch special. Hutch, don't, explain okay. to us what a jerk don't trap even, is. Don't even confine explain. this just to me because you laughed hysterically, Wood. I know you know what this is. <laughs> you can pretend and play cool like you don't know what it is, but... The, the closest I ever got was I was depressed when I was 19 years old, lost all my sex drive, and I had a beautiful Japanese girlfriend at the time, and I didn't want to have sex with her because I was depressed. But in my paranoid, depressed state, I thought that because I didn't want to have sex with a beautiful girl, that it must mean that, that I was at that age where you discover you're gay, and then you come out of the closet and your father sh shames you. So for like six months, I was waiting for the day to come along where I would, I would be attracted to Wiener, and it never happened. And then after about six months, I said, oh, man, guess I'm not gay. You could have fooled me. And then you just... <laughs> the jerk trap is when uh, you're, minding, uh, you're minding your genitals, in a pleasurable way by yourself. Yeah, you're punching the, the skin preacher. You're masturbating. And uh, you're using pornographic material. And you want to complete, but you always have it in the back of your head that you can find a better video. All these little five minute videos stacking on top of each other. You're clicking on one of the thumbnails in the related videos because you think it looks 10 times more awesome than the one that you're watching right now. So I'm gonna save it for that one. I'm definitely gonna finish off to that one. And then the next one comes, and an even more awesome thumbnail comes. Pretty soon an hour and a half has gone by. Your dick is chafed and you, have, you, you didn't get herpes. And then you can't masturbate for a month. But you're... Who does that not happen to? Honestly. You want to play it cool? Fine. But Raise your I'm hand if that's not happen. happened to you. I remember watching The Real World when they were in Paris, and there was like this gay guy. On, there's always a gay guy on the cast, and, and my my paranoid brain was just like, "You want to have sex with him, don't you?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, I don't." You've been a naughty boy. This just got intensely personal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's the fucking greatest story ever. What about Man vs. Wild? Is anybody gonna play that? No. Man vs. Wild, uh, coming out at the end of April apparently. Stone bag grills, on bag grills. Welcome to the wild. You know that? Did you I know can that? stare right. You from Texas? Yeah, I can just blast the sun right in your face. Do it once. Boom! Just look up. I don't even care. I'm crying oh. now. Boom! Do you, you have laser vision now? Have you ever uh, drunk your own urine? It's, oh, getting, uh, it's getting dark. It's time to drink my own piss. <laughs> <laughs> I roll around in my own fecal matter to stay warm at night. It's for safety. But it's only good for 15 minutes or so, then it's as cold as the rest of the wild. <laughs> On Bear Grylls. I heard Bear Grylls can stare into the sun for uh, one week solid without yeah. blinking. Jesus. Just the fact that he can not blink for a week is crazy, but he can do it without with, like, liquor. Boom! Stare in the sun. Is that what happens when you drink your piss? You can look into the sun? Indefinitely? Yeah, I don't know, but that's a good question. I doubt it, because I drank my piss when I was a kid. I'd have uh, I'd have lightsaber fights in the mirror with streams of urine. My mom, not so happy about that. Not so happy about that, seeing little Sark with his wiener out fighting himself in the mirror <laughs> with <laughs> piss. Man versus Hutch. Today we're going to kill Hutch to survive. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched the show. These, these tracks indicate a hutch. That's fine here not long ago. He's drinking and smoking all day. I'm gonna run after it. Boy. Because I don't need to conserve energy on Berg Grills. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know how to not survive? Watch my show. Run everywhere, fight wild animals, drink your piss on Berg Grills. Look at that. It's a King Cobra. Now, any other situation you want to run from the King Cobra, but on Berg Grills. So I'm gonna try to headbutt the King Cobra. <laughs> oh, the camera's rolling. Don't try this at home. I'm <laughs> bad <laughs> I'm dying of the snake bite to my forehead. <laughs> Don't 
ever had by the King Cobra. Holy fucking shit, that was a bad idea. How's my accent? Is it holding up? <laughs> Have you ever cut? Have you ever cut on Final Jerk Pro? No. Why don't you tell no. me what that is? It's uh, it's software that's uh, made up of your web browser, uh, and basically what you do is you you start off you start off by browsing, and what you want to do uh, is you find four or five bits that are just smoking hot to you, right? And then what you do is you get them all queued up so that whatever your off hand is, in my case, it's my left hand. My right hand is my go-to. Uh, exactly, yeah. So, while you're cranking it, you are uh, actively cutting, you're swapping, hot swapping, like you're a live television producer, uh, between the parts of each pornographic video, uh, building to, like, in a crescendo of, of self-delivered pleasure, mm -hmm. and ending in whatever piece that you want to be the exclamation point on your experience for the evening. Uh, your... It's also, I would say that's great practice actually for producing. I'm gonna try to camera bomb Tabascus. I'm at E3. Let's do this one. What is your audio track that you put on that? No, there's no audio track. Your live cut, it's like you're live cutting but six porns at it's once. It's your masterpiece. You gotta have something that's got a little bit of that's a... That's the thing. Banners, once, uh, once you're done, once you close your browser, no one will ever see that porn again because you cut it on the fly. In only, fact, some of those links you may never find again because, you know, the way that some of these sites work. The serious. Who hasn't that happened to? Raise your hand. Don't fucking do it, Nanders. What's up? It's respawn time. Oh, excuse us. Excuse us. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's up? It's respawn time. Did you see that guy? It's like a Hot Wheels car. Half Hot Wheels car, half human. When I have sex, I procreate. I've had like 20 babies. I just made a baby two nights ago. On her face. <laughs> we made a face baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. We have a friend for you, hold on. Hello everyone, how is everyone doing? We are playing, yes, Cooking Mama, don't ask me why. But oddly enough, this game is <laughs> actually kind of fun. Um, I mean, of course you have the strange bobblehead woman known as Mama. Right now we're making minestrone soup, and I believe I was playing this a couple nights ago, like 11 o'clock at night, and uh, Mama was like, oh, what the hell? And I was like, you are a gem, Mama. So Mama and I are hanging out cooking. I guess this would be considered a date, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna take things too fast, because Mama is a wonderful woman. Uh, she makes a lot of weird noises, like wonderful. You're almost better than Mama. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? You're very shy. Oh, not wonderful. <laughs> this is amazing. Mama is not supposed to talk. Be sure to follow us on Twitter. There you'll find the latest updates from our premier directors and the Machinima Respawn team.